our fish fam. Part of, uh, or the start of part two, multiple tank syndrome is real. Problem is, you can probably see the water line. It's leaning a little to the right. So I uh, went to the LFS. They had the brochard I that I wanted. And, well, you know the rest. Stay tuned. What's happening, YouTube? The final reveal of the 29 gallon. Got the beautiful Burchard eye yesterday. It's not focusing too well. So I'm so thankful to report they all made it safely. It's a long story, but I was really worried about them yesterday. They all went basically nose down in the rocks, weren't moving. Thought for sure they were all gonna die. One of them was stuck on the intake tube. Two different times I had to pull them off. Thank the good Lord I was actually paying attention. Had I walked away for five minutes, he would have been dead for sure. So they were super weak. Um, took the girl a while to catch them. Um, there's a whole bunch of small tank and eakin fish in that tank, so they were racing around, and um, it took her a good 15 minutes to catch. Uh, I got six of them. So same price as I was finding online, but I saved 50 bucks in shipping. <clears throat> so I just did put a little bit of the NLS in there. I saw a couple of them eat, so that's fantastic news. Fantastic news. So there's the dwarf sag that was uh, from Punchy. So thanks again, Pam. And then this nice wisteria is from uh, Bob Kaler. There's two longer ones. I think um, Punchy threw those in as well. I don't know what those are, so I apologize. I'm not. Um, don't know too much about plants. But anyway, super excited that these guys made it. They're doing great. They're about an inch and a quarter pretty tiny which is the same size as they were listed on um, a couple different websites that I found I was looking at uh, Dave's rare fish and bio aquatics but I figure eh, I'll support my kind of local LFS it's about uh, 45 minutes away it's down in Citrus Heights it used to be my LFS I was just about two miles down the street and then I got that Mopani um, no leached out tannins, which is great. Um, wasn't the look I wanted for this tank. I was going to wrap that in the Java Moss, but I just wanted to create an additional hiding spot after the drama from yesterday. Give these guys a spot to hide. This is the first time I kicked the light on. I brought them home yesterday. I think it was about 1.30 when I put them in the tank, and they I didn't even think they were going to make it till about 3, 3.30. And then even then, it was kind of a crapshoot, so super... Excited to report good news today for sure. So this one's running a little long. I'll uh, keep you guys updated, but oh, so to finish up on the Mopani, I had it uh, floating in a bucket for about seven days, and then about every two or three days I'd change the water in it. So it was the brownish orange water, of course, and then uh, this last day, which it would have ended yesterday. Um, the water was fairly clear, so I was pretty confident to add it. So, might pull it out and wrap it in the Java Moss. Not sure yet, but as of now, uh, those two are still fighting back there. But anyway, super excited. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.